Hello and welcome to this very quick video on iNow 3.0. Now I'm planning to do a little mini series with a full setup. Uh, the cool thing is, is this thing is actually very, very similar to set up the things like iNav 2.6 and earlier versions. So if you've already set up iNav on an older model, uh, it isn't too difficult actually. You can do it very, very quickly. However, there are some very key differences. One of the key differences is how you do auto level on a fixed wing. Now, before iNav 3.0, we had to do things like board alignment. So that set a slightly nose up attitude typically for flying straight and level in self level mode. We also had a flight mode called servo underscore auto trim, I think it was called. And that was one that we had to use then to trim the control surfaces. So in manual mode, uh, we could fly around and it was all trimmed. That has all changed. Let me give you a whistle stop tour of the things in iNav 3.0 that if you're in a fixed wing pilot, is stuff that's a bit tricky to follow. It's a little bit tricky at the moment, only because the documentation in the wiki hasn't really caught up with the features in this. So I'm making this video to try and help other pilots who are trying to figure this out. Now I need to say a big thank you to a couple of people who helped me figure this out and make sure that all the reading I did of the uh, the polls and the commits that was going on and some of the stuff that I was reading in other places is actually right. So I need to say a big thank you to some of my flying buddies, particularly a mate of mine called Adam. And also I need to say, of course, a big thank you to Pavel Spakowski. Pavel and I had a chat and uh, he very generously kind of talked me through and made sure that I wasn't uh, completely getting the wrong end of the stick. The really cool thing is a lot of the stuff in INF 3.0 has made the auto level for fixed wings an absolute piece of cake. So let's go through this. When I connect, the first thing you'll notice is that it's not the clean flight box. We actually now have, look at that, actually looks like the, a plane. So it's much easier for you to see what's actually going on. Now this is my uh, INAV uh, dolphin, uh, the Atomar dolphin that's uh, running iNav. Uh, so let me just show you on here where the, the, the things are. First one is in configuration. Now in configuration, if we zoom all the way down here, uh, there it is at the bottom, we have this new feature called continuously trim servos on fixed wing. Now if we look at the help, it actually says, when flying in a stabilized mode, continuously adjust the servo midpoints so that the airplane keeps flying straight when switching to manual mode. It requires a GPS. Now, this is one that I actually asked for. This is similar to a mode that's already in things like Ardu plane and has been for a long time. The plane that you're flying or the wing can actually tell whether or not it's gaining or losing height. It can tell whether it's rolling from one side to the other. So why can't it then kind of use that feedback to get it into a stable attitude and that is that is doing so what you can do is fly around in uh, horizon mode or angle mode and it will figure out where the servos need to be and then when you flick in manual mode it is automatically done for you no need now to have a separate mode enabled other thing we've got is in the modes tab so if I where are you there you are auto level so I've got this auto level set up when I'm in horizon mode, which is kind of my safe mode. So when I'm in horizon, I've got auto level selected. So the way this works is the auto level, when you turn it on along with a stabilized mode like angle or horizon, it'll again, will figure out where everything needs to be and it will continually adjust for what the plane needs to be for straight and level flight. And it just works. It is incredibly clever. So it's kind of like altitude hold but not completely but it kind of only moves when you it only works when you don't move your sticks interestingly uh, i think at the moment the offsets that are calculated as part of auto level as you're flying along in your stabilized mode don't get saved into uh, the settings at the end of the flight i think that talking to the developers i think there are plans to include this element into auto tune in future so again this might change but what i would do is i would whenever you're flying fixed wing and you're going to have it in a stabilized mode make sure that you've got auto level turned on and it will just take care of all the trimming for you and it will just fly straight last one is a little bit of a weird one now in the old days the way it works i'm going to configuration there used to be this thing called board alignment in here and it actually talks about it in this section. And the one you're interested in is you don't set pitch anymore. Whoop. 
via this. Let me just copy it. Go into the CLI. Uh, this allows you to set the pitch uh, offset. Now, this is, again, the same as what we used to do, the board alignment. Uh, and, and to be honest, I've been talking to quite a few pilots who don't even do this step, but I've just done it on here because that's what it had to be in 2.6. But the way it works is that that means 8 degrees nose-up attitude. So a positive number in this is a positive nose-up attitude. So again, there's only three things for you to think about. First one is at the bottom of the configuration tab. You can turn on this, which is continuously trim servos on fixed wing. And the way it works is that when you're flying in a stabilized mode, it just automatically figures out what it needs to be for manual mode. And then when you switch into a, a manual mode, then it'll just be all trimmed for you beautifully. So I would definitely turn that one on. The next one then is in the modes tab. And that is when you're flying in something like angle or horizon, make sure that you have auto level turned on and that will automatically trim it so that it isn't sinking or rising, uh, it has a consistent attitude. And the last one again is that ability to offset the board using FW level pitch trim. However, I know quite a few pilots who haven't even bothered looking at that and those other two things seem to be working spectacularly well. Hopefully that's made a little bit more sense while we wait for the documentation to catch up with all the new cool stuff in iNav 3.0. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.